Well, if you saw part one of this video, you saw that we had a great day on the water on this little lake that hardly anyone ever fishes. We fished it four years ago and uh, caught some really big northerns, and then we fished it today. Uh, it possibly hasn't been fished since we fished it four years ago. I hope it's not four years until we fish it again because we had a great day. We caught quite a few northerns. We caught uh, one really big one, and then I lost an even bigger one, about a 40 incher. So that was really unfortunate. I would love, have loved to show you that, but uh, that's just kind of the way it works out, I guess. That's the way fishing is. We kept one northern, about four, four and a half pounds, which is perfect size for what I'm going to do here today, and that is I'm going to grill it and use a glaze on it. Um, this glaze is interesting. I just made it up by myself. Totally experimental. I've never read this anywhere, seen it anywhere. I just mixed honey and brown sugar and pineapple juice and literally the way I got the pineapple juice was I opened a can of crushed pineapple and poured the juice off of it in with the honey and the brown sugar. I hope this turns out pretty good. It just feels like it should be really, really good. At least it ought to be sweet, that's for sure. Um, in addition to that, we're going to have some uh, potatoes and onions. I'll show you how I like to cook those. We're going to fry those over the campfire and also we're going to make some asparagus in tin foil on the campfires. So let's start with the asparagus. It's very simple. We just put some asparagus in aluminum foil. We put a little bit of olive oil on it for moisture and we use some roasted garlic and herb seasoning along with some butter. And we'll just put that right on the fire and uh, it'll simmer in there and it should be soft and really, really good. Now the potatoes, the way we do the potatoes is, is uh, it's very particular and here's what I like to do. I like to put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and then uh, about a half a stick of butter and uh, once that melts I put the potatoes in the pan and remember the potatoes are boiled ahead of time so they're pre-cooked um, and it takes potatoes longer to get brown than the onions and the onions will turn black if you put them in right away. So what I'll do is I'll put the potatoes in and then put the onions on top of them and when the, un when the potatoes start to turn brown and get nice and crispy, then I'll stir them up and that way it starts to saute the onions in it. I also use a little bit of uh, Lowry season salt in it and so that's, uh, that's what's going to go along with this fish. But So let's go ahead and, and get the fish ready and uh, you've seen the other stuff that we're going to be putting with it. and. The main thing about this fish is the fillets are pretty thick. So what I, I want to make sure that I don't put the glaze on too soon, otherwise the glaze might burn before the fish gets all the way through done in the middle. So I'm going to partially cook the fish on smoke and uh, try to keep it out of the flame too much. I'm used, This is area is all spruce all around me, but I did find a pine tree and was able to cut up some wood and uh, I wanted to cook it on pine, so that's what we're doing here. So let's get things going. I'm really excited about trying this and we'll see what happens. I hope it's good. It's like I said, totally experimental. Never done anything quite like this before. Boy, these potatoes and onions are looking delicious. The fish, I think is probably about half way cooked through. So it's time to put the glaze on. hope this is half as good as it looks. Uh -huh. well, one of them stuck a little bit, the others aren't too bad.
Thank you. Well, what an awesome day and awesome meal. You ready? Ready. Wow. Mmm, this is really good. No neck so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I should know not to be surprised. <laughs> the sweet flavor is really good. The sweetness, one thing I, mm -hmm. I would like to do is figure out how to make it so the glade, is, the glaze isn't quite as runny. Because some of the glaze ran off and ran in the fire. So if you got a suggestion on that, let us know in the comment section below. You really should try this. Wow, it's really good. This was, this is something I just dreamed up, and man, it turned out really, really good. So, well, we had a great day. Thanks for being a part of this channel. I keep saying this, but I put a lot of value on our subscribers and the people who watch, and it just means so much to me. Um, so just thank you so much for being a part of this, and uh, we are... We're going to chow down. Let's shut the camera off so we can really <laughs> dig in. <laughs> it's really good, man. Mm. Let's wow. do it.